Oh, it's good defense from Danila Do. So good under pressure there. So she is feeling fatigued. She's fighting, still fighting hard. And this really could sort things out for her. Extra effort now. The next couple of points might just get her another break. Very good from the Slovak. Excellent serve and coming into the net quickly to turn the screw against Danilidou. back on it and forget about it if you can opportunity for the unseeded Greek former semi-finalist here a break point for a 5-2 lead in this final set has led right from the start in this match and do I sense a little bit of excitement across the face of her coach Judith Springer seems so needs to convert this play I mean the second serve was very close to the edge of the box and the follow-up just inside the line the other side changing the direction on the ball that's never as easy as going straight back in line so it gets to juice from both of them but it's Hantakova who's hit it out now and, now it's very close. and I think clearly upset that uh, an earlier ball from the Greek wasn't called out she can't believe that I didn't see this but it's another break point I am I didn't I mean, see the crowd certainly supporting the Slovak but uh, doesn't help with the umpire says I didn't see it So again, she's got to regroup very quickly, find a way to save another break point against her. And there'd be many today. goes and that could be the end of Hantakova's hopes for another year at Cranden Park because Danila Du leads her 5-2 in this final save. A double break for the unseeded Greek. Hantakova clearly upset at what she thought was a bad call and lack of a call against her in that last game. So Danila Du looking to continue on the good form which she showed in Antwerp. 
not so long ago, getting to the quarterfinals there. And Koba needs something special now. She's going to get out of trouble here. Nothing her coach, Nigel Sears, on the left there can do about it. It's always trailed in this contest. Trying to find a way back. Did well to take the second set, having been broken at the start of it. Got broken again. At the start of the third set, though, after all the good work in the second, and just too many unforced errors, really. thoughts for Danila do before stepping out to serve for victory and it would be a fine one indeed she's battled well today although she hasn't hit nearly as many winners as her opponent she's kept her errors under more control than Hantakova who's made more than 60 of them now that's almost twice as many as the woman in your picture Thank you. 2006 minutes they've been battling for a place in the last 16 and really this is Danila Dews now to win or lose love the team Inside the line not beyond it so often today that has cost her that forehand shot oh dear well it was again Good tactic. She had Danila do on the run one way, then the other. But she can't finish it off with her final shot. And two more points required. That's all for this young woman, the 23 year old, to advance again. Came through qualifying and looking for her third successive win in the main draw. of uh, tightening up there again another double fault from the Greek her fourth of the match See, she's such a good player. She's tactically very astute at times, but the execution today has been lacking, and it means that it's not championship point for Danila Du. It's just match point. We're getting ahead of ourselves, I think, on the graphics there, but a chance here to reach the last 16 once again for Eleni Danila Du, the 23-year-old. This for the match. And there it is. Another forehand long from Antikova. Typical of her day, really, and delight for Danella Du. Comes through in the end, and that's a good win for her. A second successive win over the Slovak. After losing their very first encounter. 
6-3-4-6-6-2 scoreline. She books her place in the fourth round and she now awaits either Janaya Jackson, the wildcard from the United States, or the fifth seed Nadia Petrova of Russia. So the qualifier continues her good form at Crandon Park here in Miami from me, Barry Mills, and all the Eurosport team. Till the next time, goodbye.